Hey there. My question for you today is what nourishes you in the wilderness? In the wilderness, we are deprived of some of the things that normally nourish us. We are deprived of our routine, of running into people who make us happy, of groups in which we feel like we belong. Right now, we are deprived of many things that kept us going from day to day at WashU. You might feel sad or angry about it. I have felt anger and sadness a lot myself in this past couple of weeks. These are very powerful emotions and today I want to encourage you to ask yourself a few, uh, three questions. First, what are you sad about? Second, what are you angry about? And third, where do you want to invest these emotions? Whenever I ask myself how I feel, I first think of the things in which I have been emotionally invested all along. There are certain things that are on our minds more than others. In our day-to-day -day life, it is easy to keep thinking about the same things, to keep seeking our nourishment and security in the same places, in the same relationships, to distract ourselves and to forget about the wilderness we have within ourselves. Now that we are away from Washu, it's a good time to look back at our lives there, our relationships and studies there from my perspective. We are told in the Bible that the Lord is our shepherd and there is nothing we shall want. I think that one reason why we still often feel emptiness and hunger is because we do not notice many of the ways God, the shepherd, reaches out to us. We find things that make us happy or that feel important and too often focus exclusively on them, forgetting to keep our ears and eyes open to God's voice. What I find very useful to do every now and then is to force myself to stop thinking about these things. I encourage you to do this. I know very well how hard it can be, but just focus for a moment on your immediate experience, where you are now and what you are doing. Now I want to ask you a couple more questions. What do you regret to not have done at WashU? What are some relationships you have not built? What are things you have not said? What are learning opportunities you have rejected? Now think how these things could have nourished you. Could they have helped heal some wounds you carry within yourself? It's okay to feel regret. It is okay to feel sadness or anger as part of regret. By realizing where we feel regret, we realize where God's promise has been revealed to us. The good news is that God's promise stands even if we initially reject it or overlook it. What I wish for all of us during this Lent and this lockdown is that we keep praying for the same graces which we have rejected and that we respond to God and to the people and the communities God has put in our lives. I trust that if we do this, we will come to truly understand that God is our shepherd and that there is nothing we shall want.